So my favorite library moments here uh, is a project called Mike's Movie Machine, which started out as the Kinograph Film Scanner, which takes 60 millimeter films and digitizes them so that we could put them online, send them to people, make DVDs, whatever, however you want to view them, that's, that's your prerogative. Uh, we take it and it scans at anywhere from about like 2K to 4K resolution, so well beyond an archival quality type of thing that will last for, for many, many years until, you know, technology expands even more than it does now. But, uh, so this was a fun project. It, it originally started with, when I first started working here back in 2012, there we had this collection of 60 millimeter films and VHS tapes and all that type of stuff. and. A lot of it just wasn't really being utilized, mostly because not many people have a film projector to, to really view it on. The only way most people would see it is if they came in and we set it up and we, you, you know, they watched it here. So originally I said, well, let's, what if we recorded these? So I set up a camera, put it on a screen, and then we basically just kind of recorded them and, and put them up on YouTube. Quality was pretty poor, I and mean, at that point, it's literally just a projected screen with a with a camera recording it. Like I said, and it's nothing nothing to write home about. But the reception was good; people liked watching them. So we said, "Well, why don't we get something a little better so the quality is better and people would enjoy them a little more?" So before we got too deep into the the projector screen recording, we we started looking at film scanners and professional ones, as well as you know some some home kit type of stuff and. The professional ones got really expensive and the home kit ones really weren't up to snuff quality wise so we were in a weird position where we wanted the good product but we didn't really have the money to do it so chris started looking into grants and as he was sitting down to start writing them we came across or he came across uh this guy named matthew epler up in new york that built his own film scanner it's pretty close to this um this contraption that we have here so we went out we visited them we took a we took a stab at it and did a gofundme fundraiser raised pretty much all the money that we were looking for to build it and, and get going we went at it and uh ran into a couple of problems but then about a year or so after tinkering with it and everything it kind of fell into place and got to a point where we we liked where it was at quality wise so um in fact we even did a little documentary about the whole thing it got into a to a film festival it was a it was a great journey that was it's something that as a librarian i never thought i'd be a part of like i never thought that i'd make a little a little documentary just to kind of promote what we're doing here and and then be like hey cool we're in a film festival now that's a local thing but you know it was still a fun thing and good exposure for the library and everything but uh yeah it, it was a lot of fun it got my brain going in a lot of different areas that i didn't think it would go especially working as a librarian. The Hershey Fall Meet National will be right in our backyard, so it'll be great exposure for us. People that probably never made it over to the library will get there. It'll be much easier to use, like I said, the fact that you know they'll be able to sit comfortably at a table and not have to worry about running electrical cables or, or deal with anything. You know, Hopefully we have the space for public computers so that people can use and not have to lug their stuff over. This even gives us a, a chance to kind of start at ground zero again where we can kind of, you know, step one, organize things in the most logical way possible. This this building, the library was started in the late 70s and then we moved into this, into this building in 85. That was pre-internet, pre, basically kind of pre-computers and everything and uh, now we're in the information age and it's it's really just not set up quite well for for a modern library or archive situation as you can see here all of our book stacks are pretty much at capacity so much so that we've resorted to stacking extra books the new additions that we've added to the library on the top of the shelves another area that we're looking to improve is our selection of periodicals for our users to use when they're coming to visit the library so as you can see here, we don't have a whole lot on display for people to access when they come in and visit. So the new building, we should have much more ample shelf space and display area for people to come and read our magazines while they visit us in the new AACA library. 
So all of these perks and uh, things that we're talking about making with the new building and getting it up to snuff and making it a more technology savvy building um, come with costs and that's where we're asking for your help. We have set up a capital campaign and building fund to fund all of this. So anything that you can donate to us, we will gladly appreciate it. Thank you.